Hello, Stamper. Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today, I'm beyond excited to share a lovely project. So it's early enough. You're going to have time to um, get some going to make for Christmas. So I'm using a, a print from Oh Holy Night. And so in a pack, you would have two. Um, it's other print in this you could do, like this one, all the stars. I mean, you don't have the bottom, like the scenery, but it would still work. This one would work. So what, and this would be very, very lovely also. Uh, this year, I would maybe sponge some blue at the top for the sky. But you see, you can do many with a pack. You don't have to use just this one. Another thing, if you use the blue or just the sky like this, you can take a piece of 12 by 12 crumb cake paper, rip it, and another one. And then, well, you know what? Let me show you. So this way, you're going to have ideas on what, how you can make more than one or two a uh, frame with the designer series paper. So I would just tear this apart like this, put it at the bottom, and then you can even sponge. Also, I would cut the other piece here. And you know what? I bet I will finish this one also so then you guys can see. Not in the video after. But then if, and you can even put it a little bit maybe sideways so it give you more mountains. I'm going to put it straight because I did it this way. But boom. And then if you sponge that a little bit, you're going to have a nice uh down there and a nice ground so you see you can make many of them okay and you can do with that print and so on so now you see with one pack of paper you can use more than the two sheet plus i'm gonna have cards using this paper because it's absolutely gorgeous let me share with you two cards right now that i got done like I said, this is a very, very lovely um, one. See this one? This would be another print. That's the one with the little dot. See at the bottom, you could do the other one. Et voila. So you get many prints in this. You can do more than, you know, the two. Okay, so now that I got that, I get my frame at, I want to say it was maybe, a Hobby Lobby, not sure. So it was a frame, it was a wood like non finish. I spray it with pewter. So, first thing, before you get even started with your thing, you're going to put your paper, even if it's say 12 by 12, like this case, see, it's a smidge too small. So, let me remove this. And I'm going to show you how to trim that. So my paper cutter, it's right here. I'm going to go from the bottom and I'm going to cut one eighth of an inch because it was not much. So you want to start very little, except if it's a big difference. And then over here, you can cut this paper eight and a half by 11 for an easy frame. Absolutely. I just love to have that big frame. Now we're going to go ahead and check this out. Et voila. So now it's good. Another thing you can do, I would think that it would be even easy to, um, to put it in your frame. And like this one came with a window, but I don't think I'm going to use the window just because I want to raise that up. So, et voila. See how pretty it is in the frame. And the reason why I say maybe you want to build with the frame, it's because you get the like about a quarter inch on each side that sometimes it look kind of tricky if you put it too much on the side. So I'm going to leave it there. Now, I'm going to start with the building, like the barn, the faces of the barn. 
Now I cut that in um, gray granite. All the rest, uh, it's all in foil, in uh, silver. You get three color in the silver foil. I'm using the medium, not the super dark one, and then see how it is. It's almost a pewter, and then I'm using the plain silver for the stars. Now, I thought, hmm, this one here, I want raised up. So I use my adhesive sheet, the foam adhesive sheet. This is going to be good for another project. Don't toss that out. Now, I pre-cut that. Now I'm looking for my, here it is. I didn't put it together. I thought, well, I'm going to put my piece of cardstock on that. And then I'm like, wait a minute. If I put my piece of cardstock on it, because it stick on both sides, I'm like, I won't have, you know, this going to be wasted. So I'm like, I will glue it after. So just remove. Here we go. And you're going to see there it don't touch and the bottom because it's a little bit smaller. Don't let that stop you. We're still going to use that. Now we're going to let me remove the frame just for a little bit here because I think this is going to be the hardest thing to do uh, just because to mount it directly because usually I put the paper first. Now don't pay attention to the top or the bottom because we know it's not just right. Just go from the center here. Align that the best that you can at the center right here. Now lift and then put this down. Okay, don't worry if you see it a little bit like this one. We're going to... Oh, that's not bad at all. So if that's the case, maybe it's because I stretch it. It's two ways you can do that. You can trim it here with your scissors. Another thing that um, when I get like on the side, especially for a frame like this, if you take the marker, the same color than your uh, um, paper, like this is gray granite, you're going to use the brush side and then you're going to come on the side. That's going to take a lot out of that, I say, that eye catch or whatever. So this way, see, there I barely get any. This it's here. So this way, it's very, it toned it down quite a bit. So anytime you do, can be with whatever, boom. See, boom. Okay, now we got this done. Now let me tell you about, I'm going to tell you about all the piece and then we're going to build it because I did some, some, weird stuff here so for the star this is a hybrid so what you're going to do with hybrid that is the folder you're going to use the die and it's the one the three or and if you rate put your hand um right here so the side that you see stamping up inside you're going to put it that you're going to feel that it's going to notch it there. See, now it's kind of there. It don't lock in place, but you're going to feel it. Then you're going to put your paper in, close it, and just cut it like a regular uh, emb uh, folder. So this, I mean, emboss it, not uh, cut it, because cut it is different. So really, let me bring this here. And I will do a set of flowers just to show you. So really, it is six by six, the size of the frame. So I'm going to cut the six by six. I could have waited, but I wanted to have everything lined up. Okay, so you see the stamping up, the dies go there. The foil go face down, okay? Face down. Then close it. Now, for a 3D embossing folder, it is plat uh, platform number one and then platform number four. Put it there. Boom, boom. Doesn't matter up, down. Well, I think it, it's better if it's face up. Et voila. Now, you see, you got 
your embossing and your die cut all done at once this year i can keep that for another project okay but that's how you're going to cut and emboss all at one anytime that you see in the cut catalog hybrid um dies and folder that's what it means it means you cut and emboss all at once so it's not every image in the thing um it's a few of them like this one it's those three here okay so now that we got that i'm going to use the lighter one though we're going to build the star and we're going to use the big one and then because it's a frame i can pop that up it's not going in the mail and so on so i'm going to put a glue dot in the center here I'm going to put the next layer here. Voila. And then on top of it, I'm putting another uh, dimensional. So you see this is going to be very 3D stars. It's hard to showcase um, uh, what it's called. Um, let me think here. Foil, because the shine. Okay, now I die cut Mary, Joseph, and right here. All That's one right here. So I cut that. Now, for the wise man or the tree king, whatever you guys call it, I need I wanted three of that. Well, my problem was um, they were attached, right? They attach all together. So I just cut through, I cut, you know, just this part. But I didn't want them all, I wanted. Um, not all on this side like this i wanted them over here with their camel so i was like hmm so what i done i did instead of having my foil on the top to cut it i cut it my foil facing down so then i got my reverse image when you do a reverse image like that, the raised up, it's kind of sharp. It's not on the right spot. See, that's the smooth part. So what you're going to do to smooth that out, flip it this way here, and just use your bone folder. Okay? It's go still going to be raised up a bit, you know, on the wrong side, but it's going to do the trick. Now, you see, it got a lamb right there. I don't want that. So I'm just going to cut this like so. Oh, a little bit more. Et voila. So now I got one there, one of the king there, and I cut three of my camels. Now, for the sheep, I did the same thing. I wanted a uh, three sheep, but see this one go this way. That's the right direction. I wanted to face the other direction. So I cut them th the reverse side because I'm going to put two on that side. One's going to be over here. Now we got um, the ox, or I think that's the right name, the ox. And then you got the donkey. And then I got my three camels. And now, okay, I should have another one of the three king right here. So one of the camel will not have the king because he's over there. So I'm going to put two with the king here. I mean, two king with the two camel and just one camel itself. So let's start building. So you see, it's you can do, you know, many ways, but that I was trying to, from what I remember growing up, here we go. So now the uh, old, Holy Night, I stamped that with Versamark and embossed it with uh, embossing uh, powder, the silver one. Uh, I'm looking, I get a little bit of a mess here. 
I'm looking where I put this. Oh, right here. So it's many greeting that you could put. I mean, uh, glory to God in the eyes, the star are uh, brightly shining. I mean, it's many beautiful big saying to do the frame here. You can mix that very, very lovely. So um, the choice is yours. Okay, let me remove this. I'm not losing anything here. Now we're going to start building. The first thing I like to do is to do my uh, the building. Now I'm just going to remove this. And you see how simple that is? Now I'm going to put that mm, about right here. Okay, and I always like to ground my object, right? So I will use the stamping blend. I'm going to use the light uh, gray granite, I think. So I'm going to start with the light gray granite. I'm using the brush, and I'm just going to put, see, at the bottom here. It's just to add a little bit of a shadow. So for me, it's grounded. Now, I got the star going to be all the way on the left side. Now, um, I could put even another dimensional there, but this time I want it flat because I think it should touch the, the, the sky and have it because it's the layers are all uh, popped up. Now, for some reason, because it's all uh, raised up, it didn't want to stick there. We're going to bring the glue dot to it instead of the other way around. So I want to make sure that I put plenty on this because um, it's a frame. I don't want it to fall down. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that right about here. Et voila. One thing I don't have in this that I'm like, oh, too bad they don't have. It's a little angel to put there, but that's okay. Now that I look at this, my only uh, night, oh, only night, I would have put it a little bit lower. I think that's too equal. I would have put it a little bit lower, but we're good. Now the next one, so really I'm going to go with big to small. I'm going to put this right here. So again, I'm going to put glue dots there. I'm not putting, a, I'm not raising that up because I got the barn, face it, uh, that it's raised up. So that I want it more like it's more in the back. So I don't want it equally, okay? Oops. You can use Tombow glue, absolutely. I just love projects like this to work with. Um, glue dots. Et voila. Now we're going to do the camels. So before you glue, put your three camels down. So you see, that's why I want my frame because maybe I would have put it too much over there, you know? So one over there, one over there. Okay, the two wise men, the first one won't have a wise man with. I'm going to lift that more up and even that one more up. Et voilà. Okay, that's going to look pretty good. So you see this one go that way. Now I get those one facing that one. That's why I needed to flip that. Now. My ox is going to come right here, and I'm going to raise them up just to keep his breath, little baby Jesus in the, the thing uh, down. Now, I got a little lamb over here and a little lamb over there. And now I got the donkey right here. I'm going to put him about there, too. And then a little lamb over here. That little lamb gets lost a little bit. Hmm. You know what? 
No, I think I want it on the other side. You know what? I think I will cut. Um, maybe I'm just going to put two lamps. Because this one, I want it, but I don't want it to pack. We'll see. Let's start gluing this one up here. So <clears throat> let's go ahead. And I can try. I'm going to put this one higher here. And again, before I glue the Wiseman here, I'm just going to put something under the feet. Oh, that one I wanted to raise though. So let's raise the Wiseman, the um, camel down. And then let's raise this up here. Because I don't want them really to be right on top of the camel. So I want to give some depth for that to give some distinction. You want to raise that up. Here we go. Okay, the next one, I'm going to do the glue dots again. Yes, I'm a big fan of glue dot. Me and glue dots are very stuck together. <laughs> then a little bit lower. And now this one, again, we're going to put two dimensional. Oops. I'm going to have dimensional all over the, the place here. Where the other wise men went right here. So you can decorate this as much as you want, as little as you want. You could, you know, cut your paper. Really, you could cut it at six by, I think you get some frames six by eight or would be okay. It's just, I just love this big scenery here. Now, if you see this one to raise up like that, his leg, I must have pushed it. Oh, okay. This is a new one. I have to be careful because in Wyoming, we're high altitude, and sometimes when you open thing, oh my goodness, it's just explode. Here we go. I'm going to keep that Andy, and then I'm going to put the other voice in right here. And now this camel, oops. This camel gonna be with glue dots. So one of, like I mentioned at the beginning, one of the very important thing, it's before you get started, you wanna make sure whatever size it is, it's gonna fit in your frame, okay? So now we get this done, we're gonna do our little, uh, not sheep, but lamb. I wanna say, Bleh going to put one right there coming down another one and you could do that and you know different color i thought in this it would be good it you know so now just under the feet a bit here it's not much it's just give that little shadow now we're going to take the ox over here and that i need to raise him up because I don't want him to be on top of them. So I'm going to put that. He can go a bit there in the front. And then, oh, that was not the ox, but that was the, the donkey. Now I got the ox over here. And I'm going to put that just right there. Okay, where's my other little lamb there? Maybe I can add it right here. You know what? I will do it. I don't know why I wanted three little lamb. It's no reason behind that. I bet it's just one. I just want it. Here we go. 
he can go in the back of him a little bit. Here we go. He went to peek what's going on. Now that's pretty much done. Now I was debating to put in the star to have more shine. I got my rhinestone or I got um, the adhesive bag, the glitter sequins. So I thought maybe this would be good. Not the blue, but the clear here. Let's see. Okay, for the big one, I will do this. I will go ahead and put these in the center. This was a small one. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. I think you cannot add too much bling to this. Imagine Frenchie saying not too much. I mean, you cannot add too much bling. Usually I'm like, oh, a little bit, go far. But in this case, you really want to bring that to life. Okay, so I did the big star. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of the small rhinestone. Oh, I got a few on this here. One over there. One over here. So it's just going to add really some... Um, pizzazz to this frame so i hope this inspire you to get going now this is stuff to get going now so you can uh, make some beautiful uh, christmas um, gift and if all possible if you plan that to give it that christmas gift it's nothing that say we cannot give that a few weeks before Christmas. So the recipient can showcase that during the season. And I think this is a lovely a showcase, right? And I'm going to still put one over there. It would be beautiful to, I think it's going to be a very nice um, centerpiece in my house and a good thing. Uh, a good conversation started. Where did you get that, right? Okay. Et voila. See the sparkle? This is it, my friend. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. For me, this piece, it's amazing. Like I said, um, I'm going to do another one with the other print there so you can see what it is. I'm planning to do that. Till next time. Happy stamping and all the supplies that I use will be listed below and also on my blog. You're going to have more detail. Thank you so much. Till next time. Happy stamping, my friend.